Hello, my fellow shopaholics. It is the 27th of February. It is a Tuesday, I believe. Tuesday the 27th. It's hard to say very fast. Um, it's a Tuesday, so, you know, Monday or Tuesday we usually drop a video letting you guys know um, that our addiction is still going strong and showing you what we bought and giving you kind of a schedule or rundown where we're selling, when we're selling, things like that. So let's get right into it. Uh, we'll try to do today pretty quick. I've already laid everything out. We needed the car yesterday, so I needed to empty it out. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so not too bad outside. It's like 68 degrees, not bad. I'll give you guys a quick pan through. And then we will do some explaining. You got a lot of explaining to do, Lucy. So that's kind of what we picked up uh, this weekend. I'm sure there's some other stuff. I don't even know what this box is. This box might have been picked up this weekend. Um, this was bought this weekend. So let's put it over here. Look, I, I put stuff around everywhere because I don't even remember what I bought. Oh, these were good this weekend. I forget that I buy stuff. Or I buy so much stuff I just kind of stick it places. And um, then I have to show you guys. <laughs> so, okay. So let's go over what we picked up this weekend at the flea market. Uh, we did, um, what was it called? Vintage Days or... or Vintage market days, something like that. It was down by the convention center at the sports complex. We did that on Friday. Saturday, I went up and loaded boxes of denim and shirts for this week's whatnot auctions. Um, we're also going to go upstairs, upstairs on Friday night at eight o'clock. We're going to be selling a lot of clothing that I personally picked from thrifts, yard sales, estate sales. So there's going to be graphic tees. There's going to be band tees. There's going to be just all kinds of crazy good stuff. There's some Carhartt jackets, um, all kinds of stuff like that for our whatnot. That'll be Friday at 8. I am on tonight, Tuesday night with Kim. It's about to get real on her channel at like 1030. We are on tonight Tuesday night at 8 o'clock doing a whatnot with the Vintage Y2K clothing. And then Thursday, Kim, it's about to get real. Pam, a little old, little new, and myself are going to do an auction on my channel at 2 p.m. till probably 2 till 5 or so, 2 till 6. Um, I have a soccer game to go to on Thursday night, so I'll end in time to get to the game. Okay, so let's go over what we bought. That's our schedule for this week. We will be selling Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday. We're going to be doing Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday night auctions on whatnot. I'm going to try to do a day auction on YouTube on Thursday. Tonight, I will be on Tuesday night, late, 1030. I will be on It's About to Get Real on YouTube selling some of this stuff. Okay, so I bought some really cool, like a steamer line um aluminum ashtray that's kind of cool these were advertisements for i believe cigarettes back in the day this is willie and millie penguin salt and pepper shakers i got this cool zippo jeff gordon lighter then the rest of this is a collection i bought um the guy that i bought all that sterling silver from last time he bought a storage locker the lady would make jewelry and gemstones and beads and and stone and all that other stuff are all of this. Pam's going to yell at me because she wanted to buy it all, but we're bringing it to auction. Um, we have to make money, and that's how we do it. So these are sterling charms. Sterling slides with awesome rocks. I don't know what kind of rock or stone. You guys will know that a million times better than me. So these are all natural stones. Then there's some bracelets. 
and they're all marked 925. And a couple earrings. Then we have a couple bangles that are also stone. This was kind of cool. Whoever it was had priced this at $45 for this set of two earrings and necklace. Then here are sterling necklaces. And these are all natural stones or stones. I, can't, I don't know why I keep saying all natural stones. I don't know if they're natural or not, but they're pretty. <laughs> Just kind of delving into this. Okay. Then this is a whole bag of like glass and the the guy told me like Murano glass and stuff like that made beads. So here is a whole bag of beads and jewelry making stuff. Here is a container with a whole bunch of jewelry making accessories. Uh, some of this is sterling, some of it is not. I don't know yet how I would sell this, if it'll just be as a lot or how I'm going to do it. Uh, I'll figure it out during the auction like I always do. Just kind of wing it. Here is more jewelry making stuff and sterling and some of it's marked sterling, some of it's marked other things, a little clasp and beads. Hey bud, what are you doing? Interview. Interview with... Okay, and then here's, so that's more jewelry making stuff, so maybe we'll do lots, I don't know. Don't usually do a lot of jewelry. But we're buying it because you guys like it, and when we find it, we buy it. These are all glass or whatever, they're just not plastic. <laughs> uh, pretty heavy. So maybe we'll sell these by the tray, I don't know. You guys comment below and let me know how I should sell these tonight. So we're going to try to sell a bunch of the stuff. Maybe I'll take saran wrap and wrap these if you win them. Um, just so they don't open and have a gazillion pieces laying everywhere. Since they're already kind of nicely separated. We have stones up here. All of these little drawers have stones in them. Uh, different types of stone. I don't know. Some of them I can't open. Some of them tell you what they are, too, which is kind of nice. Oh, what's in here? Uh, more stones. So these are like strands of beads. I don't know if they're actually necklaces or not, but we'll just say they're strands of stone. I also have a big box of costume jewelry down there. This whole box is costume jewelry. But these all say sea green jade. Is the sea green jade? Somebody tell me. Are these marked correctly? Amethyst. Snow quartz. But that has green stuff in it. No, this green stuff goes up here. See, look, I'm moving stuff around. I probably shouldn't be doing that. Olive green jade. But look, there's something pink in there. Oh. Rose quartz. Multi moon stone, rainbow moon stone, pre night. That looks like it would glow under a black light. So, there's all kinds of really cool vintage stone we're going to try to bring and sell in lots. Obviously, you know, I'll probably put wow, this thing is like filled with dust, dust bunnies been in here for a long time apparently it was in that storage unit for a long time um i think i got a good deal on the stuff yeah but we'll see what happens at the auction so that's what we got in jewelry and then we bought some miscellaneous we got this old military jacket with the end liner right here cold weather liner john obenby company Ugh. So this has a liner in it and everything. Pretty neat. Ugh. My wife has already confiscated a few of these rag rugs. We picked up rag rugs. I picked up this cool Gears of War hoodie this weekend. Uh, maybe you guys know about these. So it looks pretty early. And there is a 
name on here, W.E. Watson. But I don't know how early like ROTC and all that other stuff started. So, because if you look at this, it has an ROTC patch, but here is the brand. And then down here is this, and it looks like it's dated from 1819 or 99, 20, and 21. I don't know. Or 1919, 1920, and 1921. Maybe that is what it is. But it has a USRTC patch on it. So any info would be great. Then, and then, we have this autographed Star Wars proof card, which was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. We have these cool vintage hats. This one's corduroy, which is pretty neat. That one's cat. That one's Coke. Cheerwine and Mash from the TV show. This cool Order the Arrow. Um, I always look for Order the Arrow when I'm looking at Boy Scout stuff because that's where the money's at. Patches and uh, handkerchiefs, neckerchiefs. We got this cool Sanyo little recorder player. Got Kim a turtle. Avon Beauty Service. So Avon, and everybody's like, ah, it's Avon. But if you get into California Perfume Company, which is the very early version of Avon, stuff sells really well. Got this little Art Nouveau mirror. Got these cool mining um, stock certificates. Very neat with the adjoining uh, certificates. Got this original Petersburg Optical box with a pair of gold framed spectacles inside. Got Vince Camuto shoes, like little slides. Got a couple DVD type things, um, anime, and then these two are sealed, Beetlejuice and Rocky Horror Picture Show. Got this Civil War um, embryo type. Got a cool sewing machine advertising card calendar from the late 1800s. Got this really neat stack of postcards embossed. Now this is a hold to light card, so you actually hold this up to the light and you can see through it. Got a nice Santa Claus. I went through probably 400 cards and picked out what I felt were the best. Bicycle racing. Really cute military 1918 very neat another santa claus another bicycle um i'm still in bicycles the lady in a car a monk driving a car but also for watches or for clocks there you go pawnee bill this is another hold to light card you don't see a whole lot of hold the light, and this is from the World's Fair, 1904. You have the Oriental. Again, another car, but with a black chauffeur or a bellhop. Another Santa Claus card. Nice French resistance fighters, very early. Again, a super nice real photo postcard. Some nice military real photo postcard stuff. Love this with the flag behind. And usually you don't see them with the guns and stuff. So nice lot there. There is a old auto light headlamp for automobile. This is a Murano cat. It is marked on the bottom. Meow. Got a cool swirled glass cruet. Here is a prop it, but it's not prop it. I just thought these shoes were really cute. And then I looked inside and they are Dolce. I don't know if Dolce and Dolce Gabbana are the same, um, but they were five bucks so I took a shot. And then I paid really good money for these, but they're very, very rare. These are a little smaller size. Let me see if I can open this up for you guys. Check these out. Nike Grateful Dead Green Bear Shoes. You can see, like, I paid for these. SB Dunks. Really cute. 
Um, again, you just don't see these that often. I got them for a little bit of a discount. I think I paid like, I don't know, 175 or so. But very, very cool. And I think that's what we picked up this week, guys. So comment below. Let me know what you're interested in. Hopefully we will see you guys at tonight's auction at 1030 on It's About to Get Real. We will see you at Thursday's auction on YouTube at 2 o'clock on my channel, Mr. Buys a Lot. We will see you on Whatnot numerous times during the week as Mr. Buys a Lot. Kim and Aiden are going to start doing night auctions. I'm going to start adding in day auctions with miscellaneous collectibles and ephemera. My goal is to sell everything out of this garage this year. Everything. So, you got deep pockets and want to buy a bunch of stuff? Call me. We are trying to move through this entire garage. I'd like to have this emptied this year. And we have so much other cool stuff to sell. And we're just growing and growing. And I keep buying and buying. So, hopefully... we. I almost forgot to show you guys the biggest and most expensive purchase that I bought. <laughs> so, here is an entire group of coastal survey maps from the 1800s. So awesome maps. These came out of like government reports and um, stuff like that. But people frame these. And they sell for like, some of them sell for really crazy money. But this one is like, you can see here, 1851. So this was a sketch for a U.S. Coast Survey. Which included the Mississippi River. Different lakes the Gulf, everything else along those lines. So very, very cool. We bought about, I want to say we got maybe 300 of these maps. So those are also going to be coming to the auction. They do really, really well selling if you price them right. Um, I've seen them anywhere from $15 to $500 a piece. Sometimes if they've got any color on them, they bring even more than that up into the thousands. Just depends on where it is, what survey it was, what year, who did it, and the colors or whatnot. So wanted to show you guys that. Sorry, almost forgot. Enjoy, guys. Make sure you comment below. Thank you for watching.